Well, hello YouTube and friends and friends on YouTube. This is Marcus with Design IY again coming to you just to give you kind of a bit of a grand reveal. What are we going to do with all this information that we've gathered? I know it's been a little while if you've been following along, but hopefully you enjoy the end of this little series about gathering information. Just to recap for those who have not been following along, so far we've uh, literally taken a walkthrough of our entire house and taken pictures of every single wall in the house. So you can literally just pick a room, say the dining room, and scroll through all the different photos. Um, that was their information for us uh, to, any, uh, to catch anything that we may have missed when we took measurements of the entire house. So here I've drawn out uh, half of the measurements. I didn't take all the measurements at one time, so I got the rest of the measurements here on the other half here and was able to scan them in and get them uh, available to us on a cloud storage drive so I always have them but the uh, main thing there wasn't necessarily so that you would just have them in formats like this see here I've even uh, measured some of the items that were in the house whenever I bought the house uh, like for instance there was a toter um, so large garbage can uh, that came with the house uh, yet another garbage can uh, had an air compressor that I brought to the house, a red work table, etc. I got height, width, depth on all of those different items, as well as a ton of other just note-taking things. So what is the point of all this? What are we going to do? How does it relate to designing and everything else? And I don't know really how to just come and show you this, but I'll just go ahead and show it to you. Uh, this is 3D, and this is the entire house. So uh, you could do a number of different things, right? Uh, as far as making uh, some sort of model, whether you prefer hand drafting and you get out the little uh, protractor and get out the little scale and go to town trying to make some handwritten form of your house and then go get prints of it so that you can change things to and from. That's really time consuming. I'm not gonna act like this isn't time consuming, but the idea here is to get something, whether it's two-dimensional on a piece of paper and it looks something like that, uh, but it's to scale so that you can actually bring in objects uh, that aren't in your house in a more virtual world, whether it's a piece of paper or again on the computer. Uh, maybe it's AutoCAD and you still prefer to work on the computer, but also in 2D, you can do it that way. I prefer SketchUp. SketchUp is a free program to use for, use for uh, personal use. And so that's exactly what I'm doing here, not making any money by doing this, uh, literally just trying to figure out how to design my house. Now there are tons of benefits of doing it this way, and uh, we can go through those later as we attack them. And uh, don't be afraid, I suppose, if uh, you have absolutely no idea what you're doing, like how do I get SketchUp? Well, it's pretty simple. You can go to SketchUp.com, literally just SketchUp.com and then click the little download SketchUp button. Um, again, free to use, so have a uh, medium working computer. If you can stream 4K, if you can stream 1080p on YouTube, then you could probably handle SketchUp. Um, and then just follow any tutorial that you find there on YouTube as far as getting you started. Just for starters, all of these little tools will be the first tools that you'll see up there. You literally can just take your, your pencil and then draw yourself a nice little shape. It doesn't even have to be a square. So you can see I'm making a weird shape here. And once you've completed a shape, it becomes a, an object, an actual plane. And that's just two dimensional. To make it three dimensional, you can take the extrude button and just make it three dimensional. From there, you can kind of just play around. So you literally want to draw a circle. Let's draw a circle and let's punch a hole through it so you kind of get my drift it's pretty easy pretty self-explanatory for anybody who's uh, tech savvy and wants to get into it themselves go at it have some fun look at your house build you a house and that's what we're doing with all these measurements so when we come in here and we're getting into the nitty-gritty drawing each of these little individual lines you're gonna have questions all your notes aren't going to be available there and so you can get a pretty good idea if I was looking at that little cabinet there in the dining room, and this is the little built-in thing with shelves, uh, the door, you can see all the doors and windows aren't quite in all the way, um, but that's what I've built here. 
uh, based on those pictures that I have. So um, anyway, this is what we want to start with. This way we can take our ideas. We'll already have a general idea of what we're doing uh, with the whole space. We'll be able to take objects in and take objects out and twist them, turn them, uh, make sure that they're the right size and they're all going to fit and you can literally just come up with a million different situations as much time as you want to spend on it and uh, see what you like best before you actually start doing the work. Now you can see I got the garage over here. This isn't the exact placement. The garage is probably further away from the house. But uh, with that being said, I do have some spare tires uh, that I'm bringing to the house. This is the desk that I found there in the office of the house that I figured I'll probably put out here. Um, got a table that my dad's given me. And I got another table there that was in the basement. And these are all true to spec. So I'll kind of show you how I did that. Uh, you'll have this tray here. Uh, so you can have materials that basically colors things, makes them look like brick or like concrete block or uh, however else. But then there's this components tab that I want to show you really quick. And you have access to an entire 3D warehouse. Uh, anything that anybody's made and felt led to upload it, uh, for anybody else's use is on this 3D warehouse. So for instance, if I want to take a look at a workbench, I can literally just type in workbench and press enter, it'll search. And I have all of these designs that anybody has titled workbench. And of course, currently I'm viewing one of 12, one through 12 of about 1500 different workbenches and you can just scroll through here until you find one that's really similar to an item that you're trying to look for. I'll go back for the sake of ease and for the sake of demonstration. Let's say this is really similar. If, if you can't tell by the little uh, thumbnail there just click the words and you can actually see here uh, the 3D model. So you can see exactly the workbench that they're referring to here um, in that little this little window that pops up. If you don't need that, if it looks right, then just click the picture straight from here and voila, it's right there in your program. So uh, this again is the dimensions that uh, whoever created it created it to. But let's uh, just play around for a second and say I need this thing to be... Uh, I'll say 60 inches long. I'm literally drawing a line, typing 60, pressing enter, and it'll go that direction. Let's say it needs to be 30 inches uh, from front to back, so 30 inches there. And uh, I'm going to draw it high. I need it to be 36 inches high. Uh, so this is kind of what I do in order to make all of my uh, items pretty true to scale. So you can see that this is still highlighted. We'll just click our little move tool here and take the corner of this object and we'll move her down, snap her right into place right there. And then the cool thing is you can take the scale tool. If you let it, your cursor sit on it, it'll say scale. So you just click scale and uh, the center top bullet, that will give me the ability to adjust the height. We'll snap it there to the height that I want it. This will give me the ability to adjust depth. And there's the depth I want it. We're gonna go back around this way so we can get length and boom. So even though it wasn't the exact same size from the 3D warehouse, I literally just made this the size that I needed it to be uh, by making a couple lines in the dimensions that I needed it to be and then scaling it to size that way. And now she's ready to pretty much move and I can put into my design wherever I wish and move it around, see what's going on. You can do this with sofa, chairs, lights, uh, cabinets, countertop. You can do this with, like, you name it, you got it. And this is the reason why I chose SketchUp. It was just going to be really handy um, for not only making sure things fit, but also being able to see these objects in 3D in a relatively similar color or texture uh, that they'll actually produce. Later on, we'll actually use a program in conjunction with SketchUp to make some real-life looking images and then uh, you will probably value what designers do a little bit more because they don't just walk into a room and say hey I think this would look good you should do this they don't uh, they might start with something like that but they'll use a program like this or even hand draft 
or sketch uh, actually do colored pencils I mean you can do hand renderings um, and pictures of that sort to really get a concept or an idea of what things look like and then they can totally X and A it and go to the next idea the point is to take a long time the point is to really dig into the fine details about how this trim actually goes together how many shelves are in this little thing and as you're in there working the nitty-gritty details uh, you're gonna have questions you're gonna realize certain things and if you're trying to get objects to place where you want them to place you might come to the realization that this isn't gonna work or this isn't gonna fit and you're gonna know that ahead of time rather than after the fact so anyway this video is going on way longer uh, than it should have I just wanted to show you that this type of program is indeed available uh, to you so uh, go download SketchUp have some fun um, it'll be really frustrating at first but again watch some tutorials there are some great tutorials out there and maybe after I'm done with the house project I have a little bit more time on my hands if you really want to I can show you how to use some SketchUp uh, without uh, further ado though we'll move on to the next thing because now that we have what's there we got to get to designing this thing right that's the fun part so I'm gonna click out you guys have a good time if you enjoy this video give it a nice thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet feel free to do so and then you'll get updates as we walk through this whole design from start to finish thanks have a good one guys bye